I've never liked FIFA 18 experiments. I've always said if you want to do a proper realistic simulation of football, you always have to do it on Football Manager. However, what if your experiment is nothing to do with real life football, just the fact that you like these two players on FIFA? Then you have to do the experiment on FIFA. It's a team full of Akindes against a team full of NGs. But before we get into the scintillating matchup, it's time to introduce you to the squads. First off, Team Akinde, and in the goal, Aura Akinde. And then we move on to Sandford Akinde <laughs> and Kurabo Akinde. Now, these first names I've randomly generated on a website called Behind the Name. Some of them are quite sensational. Dennis Akinde, number four. And then we have Waylon Akinde. Delbert Akinde at number six. Fum Nanya Akinde. <laughs> We have Royal Akinde, and he is perfect with that turtleneck. Moving on to John Akinde, we know who that is. Sam Akinde, right, okay, this is not a generated player. He actually has a brother. John Akinde has a brother called Sam Akinde. Last season, he actually played for Barnet, but I really doubt they made any kind of impact because I think he's now playing for Hemel Hempstead. Finally, to finish off this Akinde lineup, we have Ambrose Akinde. Let's move on to the team of Ung. In the net, Teddy Ung. Height of 5 foot 11 in goal. Oh, good luck to you, mate. Facing a team full of Akinde and you're only 5 foot 11. Perry NG will be up front for this Ung team. Archer Ung number three, Crispian. I'm so sorry if your name's Crispian. Anyway, he's there. He's going to be playing at centre back alongside Mo Ung. And then there's Quinn Ung, Ethelbert Ung, Frederick Ung, Kenneth Ung, Garland Ung, and Washington Ung. What a team! Great names! Now to help us out in commentary, I've just spent 10 minutes changing the common names of the other 10 players that are in the team of Akinde and team of Ung. So everybody's got a unique name and you'll be able to differentiate between the Ungs and the Akindes. If we look at the stats, there is a clear difference between the two players. Pace, stamina, strength, it's all going to Akinde. Jumping's better, reaction's better. This could be an absolute disaster for the team of Ung. Akinde's even got better goalkeeping stats. There surely is only one way this is going, but we will be cheering on the underdog, the guy who we sponsored this season, ready to deliver a shock. So this is how it's going to go down. We are just going to switch the sentiments with real players and start the game off like so. As soon as I kick off, I'm going to smash it out of play, press pause, bring on the three Akindes, bring on the three NGs, Disconnect these two controllers and the CPU will not be able to make any subs. They will be forced to play with 11 Akindes, 11 NGs. So, are we ready to do it? It's John Akinde against Perry NG. You guys know that I play with a slider setup on my career modes. I have disabled it for this game, so everything that you see is with the default slider setup. Aura in goal, with a back five of Sanford, Kurabo, Dennis, Whalen and Delbert, Ambrose, Fumnanya and Royal in the middle, with Sam and a Kinde up front. And then we see Crew Alexandra on their starting 11. Be interesting to see what Washington, Kenneth and Perry can do up front. Ethelbert, Frederick and Garland behind them. The defense of Archer, Mo, Crispian and Quinn with Teddy in the net. And there is one of the Youngs shaking hand with many of the Akindes. So here we go. Archer. Immediately makes a tackle, Perry NG. Hello, Perry NG's side starting off brightly. It will be Frederick out onto the right hand side. Washington with the through, but I think he's on side. Golden man, big chance for the Perry NG team early on. Now, before I start this game, I tweeted out who would win. In a battle between a team of Akindes and a team of Perry NGs. Let's have a look at these poll results. 
Oh, Team Ng, 62%. Washington with a delivery. Very, very deep. And Kenneth can't control. I mean, I'm just going for the stats and the fact that Akinde is totally broke. But here we go. Perry and G. Oh, or Akinde. Or Akinde with a fabulous save. It's 38% to Team Akinde, 62% to Team... Oh, the goalkeeper is taking the corners. I didn't change this. This could end really badly. Oh, it could go out for a Perry NG throwing. Or it could go out for an Akinde throwing. <laughs> oh, I better get back onto that before it tampers with the results. Ambrose tries to lift one across. Think Delbert will get there, yes. By the way, the formations that we're using are the ones that Crew and Barnet were using the last time I downloaded some squads. I decided not to change that. Mind you, oh, Aura, oh, oh, you've got to be collecting that. Surprisingly, NG's team has started on the front foot. But then again, in the second half, with a King Day's stamina advantage, they might get back into the game. Akinde with 80 stamina, Perry NG with 60, Garland put it in for the team of Ung, they are leading, Garland NG celebrates a truly remarkable goal outside of the box, and Aura Akinde just has to watch that, he tries his best to reach, it's not happening. Well, the phone book, the stats, they're all getting ripped up here as Perry NG's side look for a second immediately. I can't believe how good they've been in the first 20 minutes. John Akinde's probably touched the ball for the first time in the match. And they're already 1-0 down. This is a well-drilled Crew Alexandra side. From Nanya, here's Samakinde, he goes back to Royale, but he'll get it. Samakinde on the turn, Delbert, Sam, they're building this one up nicely. Quinn nods it out for a Barnet corner kick. Crossing is probably the best opportunity for the team of Akindes. Even though the crossing stat is terrible, their power, their dominance in the air surely will find goals. To say that Crew have been on the attack for most of the game, I haven't seen Perry at all. John Akinde down the wing, he knows what's up. Surely he'll play it inside. This is Sam Akinde. Oh boy. The team of Akinde just need to settle down. Perry and G's going for a belter. And he hits the crossbar. I just highlighted from Nanya Akinde. He's only touched the ball 10 times in 40 minutes. Garland, surely man of the match so far. Perry NG is onside, but the pass back to Garland is a poor one. Barnet have been pretty poor. It might be the formation. I am stunned at this current scoreline. Pulsating 45 minutes of football. At least it's not a nil-nil. We've got ourselves a goal, and it was a good one. Nicely placed into the top corner. This is Sam Akinde. Now Royal. Could this be a goal on the horizon for Akinde? They need to get something on target. Teddy in the Ung net might as well be sleeping. It's Washington Ung. The cross is nowhere. Oh, but still, Kenneth, it's made it 2-0. Absolutely flying. And I have to jump in and help Team Akinde. Let's try and save them with a formation change. Oh, Perry Young is magic. He wears magic hat. Because he could have sold him, but he said no for that. He'd rather keep him in the squad because on future night, Perry Young will cut and cross the champions made the light. <laughs> Sam Akinde, you've got to take the shot. Sam Akin, it's a decent save by Teddy. Was played back into danger though. No Akinde reacted quick enough. Whalen. Oh, from Nanya with a terrible touch. And now it's Team Ung to really put the nail in the coffin. Ethel but out wide. It's Perry and G. Oh, the play is truly marvellous and they can't get a third goal. Seems like the team of Akinde, they are destroyed. They are distraught. They thought they would cruise through this match no problem, but it seems like that's not the case. Oh, unless Kirabo! Oh, what a chance. 
How have you missed that? As if Teddy Ung is seven minutes away from a clean sheet. The vision by the Perry NG side is quite remarkable. They're as good playing short, quick football as they are just spreading it long. John Akinde, Kurabo, this is an opportunity, but the pass is just over hit. Teddy will be laughing. Come on, big head off. Get that clean sheet. The team of Perry NG are so close. The referee is ready to call an end to it all. That's it. Full time. And the Perry NG team have won 2-0. Out of absolutely nowhere. I am stunned. Like this should not have happened. But it really does assert the fact that Perry NG is an absolute legend, a hero on this channel. That is not the end of the action though. I'm about to hop into online single matches on Ultimate Team and ask a couple of randomers if they want to appear on a YouTube video. All they have to do is invite me to an online friendlies match where we'll be playing with the team of NG. All right, it seems like we've got a willing candidate here in XX Jacko XX123. No, not foot only, mate. And it doesn't reply, he plays a game, what a waste of time, XX Jack OXX, I don't like you. Let's try this guy, the lad's name is Redizer74 and he seems keen. Okay, so we're in a game with Redizer74. Now, I told him that I've got a team of right backs, so who does he choose? Liverpool. <laughs> 53 overall right backs, and he's chosen Liverpool. I I'd be more comfortable with a team of Akindes, to be honest. Kenneth down the line, it's Perry NG against Joel Matip. He can go back. Ah, Kenneth! Oh, just poke it home. I'm feeling good, but every time Mo Salah gets it, I am bricking it. Yes, well done, well done. This is Garland to Ethelbert. And Garland wide, come on now, Perry NG in the middle. Oh, what a terrible, terrible idea for a pass. You should be ashamed. This lad's trying to force it into Mo Salah now, and you can obviously understand why, but it makes for easier defending, should we say that. 29 yards out, I'm just setting this up. Someone needs to run into the box. Washington wide, it's Garland, everybody's offside, we'll have the corner. Uh, yes, Washington directed goalwards. Well, that should be the end of the first half, we need to catch our breath. Oh, them defenders have done all right. I can't hate on them too much. You know what kind of attack they're up against. It's Perry Young! Oh, Perry! Yes! I didn't even shush, I'm so excited! Shush it, baby, please! Garland, this is Perry, who seems to have kept a lot of his stamina compared to his uh, teammates! Oh, yes! Klein has stopped that. What a great piece of defending to keep that 1-0. Big through ball to Roberto Firmino. Oh, he's going for the shot. Look at Teddy fly. Could this kill it? Washington. Perry and G. Oh, last ditch defending by Liverpool. Three added minutes and it's a three on three for Liverpool. Christian dives in. Destructive slide challenge. We're so close to winning it. Oh! He's been playing it to Mo Salah all game. And finally, he breaks. Is this an own goal, apparently, by Garland? Let's ask him if he wants a golden goal. Oh, yes! Harry NG just sidesteps one. This is now Kenneth. We're into the box. Kenneth! Oh! Has not finished the game off. Perry NG's finishing is gonna kill me. Mane. Oh, he's too quick. Dio me. Wijnaldum. It's in. It's in. It's an absolute belter by Wijnaldum to finish the tie up. Congratulations to Readers of 74. He's beat a team of right backs, all rated at 53 overall. But fair play to him. That was a belting goal and. Uh, Enough for me to leave the match and give him the win. What a shame though, I was moments away 
from beating Liverpool with a team of ung. I want to thank Reader Zer for his time today. He didn't need to say yes, and he nearly got humiliated by a team of right backs, almost. But he saved his skin and a great goal to win it, to be fair. So well done, mate. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Hit the red box to subscribe and press the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.